Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff here at SDRplay.com. We've got the laptop in the car. We have an RSP1A, and on the roof, <clears throat> excuse me, we have the RTL SDR blog L band patch antenna. Right now, I'm just checking it out. You can see the frequency I'm at is at 1.545, 5, and we're picking up ACARS D signals uh, without issue. Let's just take a quick peek. I just literally got this a few minutes ago. I got Jero all fired up. The constellation is nice and solid. Good solid constellation there. It's uh, 600 BPS. We're centered on that frequency there. And let's just take a quick peek. Let's see if we can decode anything. Just give me a couple minutes and I'll pull the antenna off the roof and I'll let you guys see it real quick. It's, uh, in my opinion, it's a very good antenna. The reason why I like it, you know what? Let's just pull it off the roof now and we'll look for signals later. Okay, the reason why I like this, and I'll be honest with you, is because it's very easy for me to uh, manipulate in the car. Because it's hard for me to pick up these Inmarsat signals from my house. Uh, I'm facing directly south, and I need to face east or west for these Inmarsat signals. So I'm stuck with sitting in the car for hours at a time to enjoy decoding Inmarsat. And... The feet I can manipulate, so basically what I would do is I would just plop this right over here, point this down a little, and I'm off to the races. This thing is fantastic. Uh, Carl, kudos to you. This is, uh, this is a winner for me because I'm not going to scratch up my dash using the outer net patch antenna, which I do have. I don't need an additional LNA because there's an LNA built in, and I'm powering it right off the RSP1A. And it comes with a six-foot lead. Uh, this is not a very technical overview of this antenna. Like I said, I just got it. I'm just getting used to using it. I have the SDR Kits uh, GPS modified patch antenna, which is magnetic. I stick that on the roof of the car, and I drive around, and I find a good spot to point the car at an Inmarsat uh, satellite. With this one, it gives me the ability. I can twist it and turn it, and I can manipulate this however I want, and I don't have any issues. So let's just uh, pop this back on the roof real quick, and we'll see what we can pick up. Kind of hard doing this one-handed. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this. Let me fix the antenna. I'll be right back with you guys. All right, antenna is on the roof of the car. It's just sitting on that uh, little tripod that it comes with. It also comes with a suction cup mount, which is actually really good. So that might work also because then I can stick it on the window right over here and uh, just feed the window, uh, feed the window, feed the coax through the window. You can see I'm not getting bad uh, stations. I mean, it's it's pretty good. Let's see what the SNR is, if we're even getting an SNR reg registering an SNR. 9.6, and I'm not even pointed correctly, so let's see if we can decode anything off of Jero. Oh, we got some stuff coming in. All right, well, it's 600 BPS. Constellation is scattering a little. All right, let's see if we have any uh, any planes inside the log. Okay, nothing there. Let's check another one of these transmissions. Uh, that one looks like it's about 1,200 wide. So let's switch this to 1,200 BPS. Plop it on. The AFC should center itself. Decent constellation. And let's see what we get. Oh, we definitely have data coming in. That's for sure. All right, let's check another transmission. Uh, let's just try this one. All right, that looks centered.
constellation is adjusting. And we have some ACARS data. Let's see what that produced. We do. We have two planes. Let's move this up here. There's three. All right, so the frequency I'm on, just in case, and you guys know my location is South Florida. I'm on 1.545.075, so 1.5 uh, gigs. And we're getting ACARS data coming in, the plane information. Let's see if we get some more data. Oh, and the patch antenna is pointed uh, east, I believe. South, uh, southeast. No. North. It's pointed northeast because the rear of the shack faces south and the front is north. That's north, that's east, and this is west. So the patch is pointed about this way at about that angle. It's northeast. Let's see if we have any other data, and then I'm going to sign off and say 73. All right, let's close out Jero, and we'll take a look. And as you can see here, lots of signals, lots of data, lots of stuff to decode. All right, guys, just wanted to show you real quick. Like I said, not a technical video, just showing you that this antenna really is working well. Uh, this is going to be my new go-to antenna because the patch antenna that I have is just a raw piece of steel, and I have to use an external LNA. This is all-in-one, and it's uh, waterproof, and... I can manipulate that stand while I'm monitoring Inmarsat in the car. So that's a big plus for me. Might not be a big plus for you, but that's that's a, a deal right there for me. I'm sold on it. All right, guys. Uh, this is where you know Carl did provide this antenna to me at no charge. Uh, did not skew the way I feel about this antenna because I got it for free. I'm probably going to wind up giving this antenna away for free, and I'm going to order one for myself because that's what I like to do for the community. All right, guys, 73. I'll see you in the next one.